So I misspoke in the past video. I said that I was pretty much done and ready to do the test, but in fact, there was a bit of tinkering time that I, just a couple things on my checklist I wanted to do. I wasn't thinking they'd be interesting enough to film. However, cleaning out the oxygen line might actually be fairly interesting. I'm going to rinse these off and then we can dry them. Looks like just those two pieces. And so we'll put that in there and suck the water out. It'd be nice if there was a heat pad underneath that, but oh well. And when that starts tapping, that's whenever it has water filled up. So I just loosen that screw and some water comes out and keep doing it. A lot of people complain about how you can ruin your pump by sucking uh, water vapor out. However, if you, as long as it, you just stop it from getting too much water in there, you can empty it out perfectly fine. I've actually been thinking about adding like a little side glass coming down from it so all the water will collect in the side glass and you just empty it whenever it gets a little bit full.
And I think what we should do next is see about drawing a wider hole for the oxygen in the inlet. Now this section of the workshop is not very um, finished yet. It has some lighting, but that's obvious. What matters is that I have a drill press, though, and a much bigger drill press than the last one that I had. My friend Thermionic Man gave me this one. It's a 1943, I believe. It's a lot better than a small one. I gave that small one back to my father, and he, uh, he really enjoys it. need to get something that I can like clamp that with. It would be really helpful. Okay, until I get that done, we'll do the same kind of crazy thing that I did before. And I'll just try not to rip my arm off with it. I call that a hole. Looks good to me. Drawing a hole sideways is pretty, pretty difficult. There we go. I got most of it just at the end and stuck. <sighs> Might be a bit big, but oh well. It is propane after all. And now you can see all the way through, and I will also thread that. I might build it up and fix it, but I don't know how much I'll do this on this one before I just move on to the next combustion chamber, because I'm learning a lot just from this. I'm starting to get a bit of a tapping sound in there, and probably gonna go filter that oil. Well, not filter it. I mean, if you just let it sit for a day. Then the water and the oil will separate and then you can just drain it out, but whatever. It's a bit too cool to the touch, but it looks absolutely dry, so that's good. And that's dry too. Hopefully that was enough to help reduce any of the oil. So for the oxygen line, I thought I had a really good pipe cleaner that I could clean each part with, but I really don't feel comfortable using steel for the oxygen line anyway. I've decided I'm not going to have a pressure gauge on this side of the solenoid, on the, the tank side. I did have these steel pieces here, but I'm going to take those away because I, I don't trust those and I don't trust my ability to clean those yet. And in the future, I'd hope to go to stainless steel. So coming in from the oxygen tank will be brass and then aluminum and stainless steel inside of it. So there won't be any um, issues with the metals, hopefully. And then after that will be this going to the combustion chamber. 
I've decided I won't be able to clean this. So I'll try to clean it with heat. Now I cannot use my gasoline blowtorch because it would leave soot and I worry that the soot would be combustible in pure oxygen. But I now have all the stuff for a propane torch because I have the regulators and whatnot. So about a decade ago I picked up this old, I don't know, 1960s oxycetylene torch. But right now I don't need it to do anything special. I just need to run some propane through it and just have a flame and hopefully get that heated up enough to where any oils on the inside of this pipe will burn away. That's the plan at least. Perfect. Oh, look at that. I'm not sure if propane makes soot or not. I wouldn't think it would. Looks like it does make a bit of soot. So it's a bit of a shame. Make it a bit toasty. Granted, it could be all the Teflon burning off, but who knows? That's cooling down now, and if I look inside of the top part, the side we cleaned with heat looks significantly cleaner than the other side, so it looks like cleaning it did do a good job. So I need a few more of these, which is that one can go there, and this can go right there. And there we have it. I would argue that this is in a better state than it was before. I mean, it's still remains to be seen, but I'm more likely to, to test it now without too much fear. But at the end of the day, it's still just a big old, well, I forgot, I was going to call it not a pipe bomb. So there we go. It's not a pipe bomb. But thanks to being able to control it from very far away, I'll be able to put about a 150 feet between me and it. So that should help quite a bit. And if anything does blow up, it'll just be a very small amount of stuff. Only about, I don't know, $200 in parts? Barely even that. But before I do any real big calculations for how to design something, I, I just want to get a few tests underway and then we can, because we'll learn so much from that. And that coupled with like theoretical knowledge, we'll actually, I hope that'll take us a long way. Whew. Well, the only thing left to do is to test it. And so, I hope to take it to my father's land tonight and we can try doing a burn, but 
I'm not going to rush it. I'm not going to push it. If we get there and just something isn't working right, I'm not going to, like, try to get it to work. I'll just take it, bring it back, and we'll spend another day working on it and take it back another day. I don't want to rush it and blow something up. Because I'm already... You could already say it's already bad enough as it is. I'll run to the hardware store in a couple hours and get those other pieces to plug up those holes. And now I can finally end the video. Oh, right. And I also got this. My mother had a plate for a double light switch because we don't have any double light switches in the house. So she was wondering why she kept that. She kept it all those years from me, turns out. I hope you guys enjoy this video and thank you very much for watching. See ya.